Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Valheim. All right, I've been doing a lot of off-camera work, uh, you know, saving up resources, gathering stuff. I've got quite a bit of food now, uh, you know, cooking it up. Also, someone told me that these necktails can be cooked. Obviously, they can. It says it right there, and those things spawn right by my base. You guys were unbelievable in the comments in the first, second episode. Uh, the second episode's only been up for like an hour, though, so if you said something in there, I might not have seen it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty freaking dope. I wanted to come over here and see what the heck did. Oh, okay. All right. I was wondering what the glowing over here was. I saw it in the nighttime and I wasn't aware that it was where the sacrificial stones were. And I wanted to come check it out because it looked pretty scary. So why not? All right. So yeah, keep the uh, tips in the comments coming guys. They're freaking awesome. I really appreciate it. Uh, someone says to destroy the bees nest and build your own beehive at home. So you can collect honey for another source of food. Then someone else told me about the green necks. Um, those things spawn right over here in case you guys haven't been watching every video or you have a poor memory like I do. Um, right over here, these guys are all up and down the coast. I don't, oh, yeah, there's one. So you can kill these guys but when I have stamina. There we go. And then you get their necks, I guess. Um, neck tail. And you can cook that up and it's, you know, I'm, I'm guessing it tastes pretty good. My guy seems to be happy with it. What else? What else? What else? If you couldn't beat him, uh, you can... Okay, so I was talking about the big boss over there. Now, you guys are 100% right. I was not ready for the big boss. I knew I wasn't ready for the big boss, but I really wanted to show it off in the first episode. You know, sometimes people make their decisions on these games in the first episode, whether they're going to, you know, look into it or not, play it, watch it, buy it. So I figured, you know what, let's show it off. If I die, I die. It's, it's not the end of the world. And uh, let's go check this guy out because otherwise I wouldn't be able to fight him in the first episode. Okay, and I was not ready. I was unprepared, but I knew I was unprepared, and I'm okay with that. Somebody else said uh, that if that happens and you can't beat an enemy, you can take these characters. I might have mentioned this last video, and if I did, I apologize, but I'm going to mention it again because it's really important. And it's been a whirlwind of video recording the past couple days, so um, I don't remember everything I said in every video. But this is important to understand. This game has your character separate from the world. And what that means is, just like, you know, games like um, uh, Savage Lands, you can make a new world for your character. Now, you won't have any of your stuff in that world, except for what you take on your character. But you can go there, regroup, and then come back and fight the enemy in this world again, if you so choose. Uh, maybe your building does come with you. I don't think it does, but I don't know. I haven't, I haven't messed around with it yet. So, that was freaking awesome. And someone else wanted me to turn off Camera Shake. So, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, by the way, I turned off Bloom as well because I really didn't like uh, the Bloom that much. So I didn't notice this. Uh, by the way, I just turned off Camera Shake. I didn't notice this scalable UI. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I like that. I'll scale that up a little bit. We'll go to 85. There we go. Um, also, I turned off uh, Depth of Field. I haven't noticed it in this game, but I know I don't like Depth of Field. So, yeah. Yeah, this game looks freaking dope. Okay, so what are we going to do today? Today, first and foremost, okay, so the number one comment was, you weren't ready to fight that guy. The number two comment was, make a fire in your house, all right? So I'm going to be making a fire right here in my house. I went ahead and poked a hole in the floor, brought the land up um, using my trusty hoe, okay? And what we're going to do now is I'm going to put a fire down right here, okay? Now, what happens if you don't, vet if you don't give ventilation? Because everyone's like, oh, you got to ventilate, right? What happens if I don't? Do I, like, suffocate and die? Let's see what happens if I close all the doors. Oh, yeah. You see the smoke? Okay, that can't be good. I, I kind of want to know what will happen, but I don't want to die. So, guys, let me know in the comments what happens. <laughs> what happens if you don't ventilate? Do you actually start taking damage? That'd be pretty cool. All right, so what I'm going to do now is we are going to make the roof higher. Oh, God, don't walk in the fire like I just did. <laughs> don't worry. When I'm done, you won't be able to walk in the fire. I got some plans. Yeah, that was um, <laughs> funny. That's what that was. All right, so we're going to want a too high um, wall here for this building. So let me go ahead and take down everything I've already built, and let's plan out the next phase of the operation here for the entrance hall. All right, so the first step with this bad boy is going to be... Putting a second wall up here. Okay, I just got to get the first one down. There we go. And then the rest will be easy. Well, kind of. Probably should have started from the other side. But that is A-OK. -okay. We're going to leave that spot open. 
All right. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Grab the wood. And there we go. Okay, so that spot's going to be open. That's going to be the ventilation. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put one right here. Right here. And let's see if we could put the thingy down to cook. Uh, we can. Yes, we can. Oh, frig yeah. Frig yeah. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of these small ones. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be this one. Let's try this one. All right, and put that right there. This is going to be my fireplace. Okay. Oh, the thing broke. I was like, why did I punch that? Oh, son of a bitch. I think I have it back up. Good. Yeah, the whole thing of this needing a roof really screws me up a lot. <laughs> but that's why I got I to gotta spare. All right, there we go. All right. And then we will put a one of these right here. Uh, there we go. And that's it. That's the ventilation. Then what we'll do is we will put... Uh, I, guess, I guess these will go like this. Well, we definitely... Can't. Well, I mean, I guess we could. But now nah, I'm going to build it like this. I'm going to build flat. And then one of these. Right? Oh, <laughs> oh boy. All right, we got to take care of this, though, really quick. Oh, God. Wait, what happened? Oh, is it because I jumped on the torch? What the frick is going on? <laughs> All right, let's come out here. And let's take this out. All right, and that's got to be a son of a bit. You know what? You know what? I don't need to fire that bad. I don't need to damn fire that bad. Alright, I <laughs> just keep killing myself on it. Um, okay, just don't walk on the fire. Well, la-dee-da, Mr. Fancy Pants with your uber strats. Alright, so... Oh, yeah, like this. And you, my friend, will go right up there. Can I do this from down here? I should be able to. And... Boom. Come on. Oh, I had it. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that's so freaking dope. Oh, I love that. Oh my god, I love that. Goodness, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and cook some food while we're while we're building here. I'm just about done with this part of the base. All right, uh, like that. Yeah, that's a that's a. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. See that? And do that. And now we're looking good there. So let's just take the floor piece. Make sure it's going the right way, and it is. And let's do this up here. I'm going to put some poles in the middle, too. To show, like, um... Oops. I might put some... Yeah, there we go. I was wondering if I would be able to get the food. I might put some poles in the middle for structural integrity issues, but it would just be for show. Missing requirements. Missing requirements, my ass. I got, I got your requirements right here. How you like me now? Oh, I'm gonna have to have a wood like wood pile area. Uh, honestly, it kind of came out like a wood pile area there, and I didn't mean it. I didn't mean for it to. The building in this game ain't half bad. It really isn't. Uh, as a matter of fact, why don't we take this out? That way we could really use this as a wood, as a wood stocking area, wood and stone. All right, there we go, and we are just. About done. And apparently I'm resting. So that means there's enough of a roof. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, man. I, I The only thing I don't like is the is the miscoloring of the wood. Is there a reason for that? I'm not really sure. I remember it was like that back in the day. I played this game like years ago. Um, it's a very different game now. But yeah, I played it years ago. And uh, I don't know, man. I, I'm not really sure what's up with the, uh, with the discoloring of the wood. I remember it used to do that, though. I wonder if we could stack chests in any way. Let me see if I could fig... Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a way to stack chests. So I figured out a way to stack chests. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Alright, so, um, you know what? I'll just rebuild this one. Alright, this is where you stack chests. I won't replace that one on the left because I don't really need to. Alright, so you're going to take these, uh, these half wall thingies. Alright, and you're just going to put them like this. You know, you can kind of put them out a little bit more if you want, but I kind of like them a little bit farther in. 
As a matter of fact, I, I might want to even put it farther in than that. Because there's going to be a little bit of, um... It's going to be a little bit of wasted space here. Uh, with these things. So, you know what? Look, why don't I try and put it farther in the wall. And see how that works. As far in the wall as I can. Alright, I can't put any farther. Wait, why is it going in the wall now? There we go. Can I put it farther? No. That looks about it. Just about there. Alright, now we're going to go around the outside and make sure it's not poking through. And it is. Although it looks kind of cool. Nah, I don't want to poke him through. I don't want to poke him through. Alright, so yeah. Th that's about as far... That's about where you want to put it. Because if you put it there... Right? Then it's not poking through. And it's in the wall. Yeah, because the thing is, you're going to be wasting space in the back. Let me show you what I mean. Damn it, I burned it. Son of a bitch. Well, I'm su honestly, I'm surprised I only burned one. I'm surprised I only burned one. You might be wondering why I'm not eating, like, extra food. It's because I'm going to save that for when I'm in fights. Like, I don't, like, really need it right now, so... Be a little bit, uh, careful with that. Alright, so then you're going to put down... Oh, no, you don't put down the chest. Do not put down the chest first. Put down... This. And then you put down the chest. Right? Make sure it's facing forward. And I think it's pretty cool right about... Or do you want it right in the front? Yeah, let's put it right in the front. No reason not to. And then you put, um, and then I'm going to stack it up. I'm going to stack it up another level. Okay, so this is, th that's, this is as far as I've done off camera. So this whole st stacking it up. In the, you know what? You could probably use a full wall for this. Oh, no, you can't use a full wall because I don't think you can put those floors, like, halfway up a full wall. See? I mean, I guess I could, but it, it wouldn't snap into place. There we go. And here we have some stack chests. Honestly, it's maybe I should put them in sideways, because they're not really like they're kind of taking up a decent amount of room. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll put them in sideways. That would probably be better. So like about there, and missing requirements. Okay, yeah, and then I could put it right next to it, so that'll save even more room for the chests. Honestly, that's a good amount of chests right there. I know four doesn't seem like a lot. But it is. Uh, I might even move it over. But I don't know. It seems like a pretty good spot for it. Anyway, this is where I put all my food and flowers for some reason. Uh, this is where I put all animal drops. Okay. Right here is just kind of everything else. I got this um, gray dwarf eyes. I had a bunch of gray dwarfs come in and like attack me uh, the other day. And uh, I died to them like once. But then I killed them all. And then I got their dwarf eyes. Um, speaking of dying to dwarves. Why don't we go ahead and make an upgraded weapon? How about that? How about we make... Oh, maybe I want the flint axe. Crap, I don't know if I can make the spear and the axe. Oh, I can make both. Alright. So, wood, leather, flint. Wood, leather, and flint. Flint's pretty heavy. Oh, I have just enough. Crap, I thought I had more than that. Uh, leather... Alright. Oh, by the way, uh, control left mouse button is, you know, moving stuff in and out really quickly. Alright, so... Uh, let's go ahead and make the spear. And then let's make the... Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to make? Uh, this, the freaking flint axe. Flint axe, there it is. I, I'm just looking at all the stuff I want to make and I get distracted. Alright, let's make some arrows as well. Alright, there's the axe. So, let's go, um, let's put the axe right there. Let's put the spear. So, the, the, this thing is, um... Repair, uh, 12, uh, 12 blunt damage. Okay. Knockback. He's got a lot of stats on that. Let's just look at the damage for now. 12 block, 12 damage, and, oh god, 5 to 11. And that is 4, okay, so that's a big upgrade. Very good. Very nice. Got us a, wait, that doesn't look like a, that doesn't look like a spear. Oh, I see, the, the spear ends on the bottom, Okay. Fair enough. Can I just attack? Yeah, okay. I was hoping it wouldn't be something I would be able to, like, just have to throw, you know? Um, one thing I would like to do is change the, um, <clears throat> the button layout on the dodge. The mouse, mouse to space dodge thing. It's the only thing I don't like about the combat. Other than that, the combat's pretty freaking dope. And to be fair, that is a pretty small thing. Alright, let's take our flint axe and let's chop these bad boys now that we can. Whoa, too hard. Well, what the hell is the flint axe for? I thought, huh. Alright, well, apparently that's the wrong... I mean, the flint axe is still cool. It's just... I was hoping I could chop that with it. 
but apparently I can't. All right, we need to do some upgrades here for the workbench. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look for upgrades. Um, there is the chopping block. Crap, I need 10 flint for that son of a... Oh, God, I need a lot of flint. Damn it. All right, we're going to go looking for some flint. And that's good because then we get... Oh, here we go. That flint must be respawning, by the way, because I'm pretty sure... Now, I guess I could have missed it, but it's not likely. It's not likely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down up and down the shore looking for flint. And I will also look for the mineable resource that's on the shore. I don't remember what it was. We're going to use our power, by the way. It's uh, less stamina drain while running. Okay. And, oh, there we go. Grab that. The hell is that? All right, if I see any boars, they're dead. I need their skin. The hell? Oh, it's just a... Oh, <laughs> dear. Oh, here we go. We got some boars now. Uh, well, I might as well use the bow on him, right? Get some practice in. Ow. Freaking jerk. Yeah, what now? How you like me now? Alright, well, let's try again. Uh, obviously, I need the practice. Now they're running around like idiots. Yeah, okay, here we go. Stop moving. You gotta aim really high, dude. Also, I think the wind has something to do with, like, where your arrows go. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, stabby, stabby. Oh, duck, roll. See, I'm trying to duck and roll. Really, you know. Oh, uh, we need some stamina. Okay, get some stamina. Here we go. And stab. God, I'm trying to hit him, buddy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and eat a little bit. Uh, oh, crap, I left all my food at home. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We're not going far. We're not doing... Oh, here we go. Never mind. Let's grab these. And it looks like the meat is about to go out. And I didn't bring any with me. That's alright. Not the end of the world. I do see something over here that's mineable. Um, tin. Alright, cool. Let's get some tin. Hell yeah, I'm going to get some tin. Let's believe that. Tin ore. Hell yeah. What the hell is this thing say? Oh god, it says a lot. Let all of you beware of gray dwarfs, uh, this, the skulkers. Okay, just go ahead and read it. Off. <laughs> Pause the video if you want to read it. Okay, I don't want to be doing a bunch of reading. I want to, I want to do some action. Oh, what does this guy have to say? What's up, bro? You have found some ore. Or as you find the smelter before you can work in the forge. To build the smelter, you will need... Certling cores? Search for the dark places beneath the earth. Oh, okay. I don't look like I'm going to be doing anything with the smelter anytime soon. But we could still start gathering stuff. So I can't prove it, but I'm 99% sure they nerfed the amount of wood you're getting from trees. And I, I feel like it was by a lot. It was by a lot. <laughs> I guess they don't want us building, like, giant, giant buildings. That's fine. Let's we'll see where it goes. This, um... This freaking axe is dope, man. This flint axe. I really like it. There we go. Grab all that. Uh, we're full, aren't we? Son of a biscuits. Okay. Well, we're gonna come back and we're gonna throw some wood down in the form of, uh, wood po Wait, what? Wait, what? What am I- what's weighing me down if I don't- if I don't have any wood? Uh, 42 wood. Oh, yeah. Some of this stuff is pretty freaking heavy. Uh, all right. Well, what can I get? What can I get rid of? Um, oh, this is probably heavy, right? That's eh, kind of heavy. The stone is also heavy. Let's drop the stone. There we go. Well, let's go pick up the rest of that wood. Wood is precious. It's the precious. Might have to scale back my operations. Or maybe I could just leave my operations the way they are. And just, you know. I mean, I've got a, I've got a sustainable base right now. Like, no problem. So what I could do, and what I probably will do... Is I will leave this the way it is and just keep working on the rest of the base. And, um, you know, just take my time with it. Uh, I still need to fill that stuff in on the bottom. But I gotta be careful because that's my fire. So I don't really know how I'm gonna do it. I'll figure it out. I'm not gonna worry about it. Alright, so let's come on in here and we are going to do our first upgrade. Alright. And our first upgrade will be... The chopping block. And it's gotta go, like, close to the... Yeah, I know it's got to go close to the to the workbench, so... Can't get any more closer than that. And there we go. New recipes. Fire arrow, huh? 
flint head arrow, leather helmet. Oh, okay, cool. Very cool. Uh, well, let's take a look at the... Oh, leather, okay. We got the deer hide. All right, I'm going to try and collect 15... Uh, oh, I'm definitely going to collect 15 flint uh, for the other upgrade. I want to upgrade the other, the other part of the workbench as well. Uh, so I just came down here to collect a bunch of flint. And I came across this building. So let's check this out. All right, you got anything in here? Okay, nothing up there. Um, all right. Oh, cool, a couple flint. Very good. Very good. So that's all 15 flint, right? Yep. I'm probably going to collect a few more just because I know I'm going to need it uh, for future videos. But oh, hold on, let me get this. Let me see if I can get this bird. Son of a bitch. I have killed the bird before the bow, but, you know, I just waited too long with that guy. All right, let me grab some more flint and get back to base. Just out here in the wind and the rain and the cold trying to get some more leather scraps. I'm going to need another four, and I came across a beehive. So I was told to take that out and then bring it back with me. Although now I'm not looking too good, but we got some new crafting recipes, so that's fun. I wonder how long that's going to last. Oh, mushrooms. Ooh, nice. Nice. All right, I need some more boars, man. This, I've, I've explored quite a bit here. All right, I got one of these tough guys. He's throwing stuff at me. Yeah, these guys are... Well, I, apparently I just stabbed him in his face. That's the guy that killed me last time, and he dropped those... Um, he dro They dropped these gray... Gray... <laughs> these gray... <laughs> gray dwarf eyes. All right, here we go. Come on. Turn around. Turn around, chump. Oh, he didn't like that. <laughs> oh god, I thought, that's, I thought that second one would have killed him. Alright, I got some kind of thing over here. I'm going to kind of take a look at this next episode. Because I really want to get some more boars. And uh, get that next crafting upgrade thing down. So, let me find some more boars. This will make you guys happy. Remember I missed the chest? Well, I'll loot it now. There you go. <laughs> now everybody's happy. I don't know if I'm going to find a boar for the upgrade, man. I've been all over this freaking island. Um, not everywhere, but I've gone quite a few places. I'm seeing no... Oh, here we go. <laughs> well, there you go. All right. Well, that's one more. All right. So now we only need three. Okay. Anything in here? Probably not. I don't see anything in there. All right. Let's come on up here. See what we got going on. Uh, door open... Oh. Oh, God. Okay. Damn it. I keep forgetting about the... Well, whatever. I want to loot this. I want to leave the torch. I don't need more torches. Oh, here we go. Another boar. I was going to stay away from here. I was like, oh, come check it out after next video. I'm looking for boars. Nah, yeah. <laughs> That's the way it goes, usually. Oh, okay. And what's down here? Okay. I mean, I don't really know like what amber is good for or gold. I mean, I, I can't buy anything right now. I mean, I'm sure I'll be able to at some point. Uh, these chests feel a little bit lackluster, but I don't know. Maybe that stuff's worth a lot more than I'm than I'm thinking. Got another stone structure here with a chest. And, um, ooh, flint head arrows. Now, that's nice. Hell yeah. Well, it took forever, but oh, what is this? Oh, the beehive. Oh, we should make a beehive. Yes. Let's make a beehive too. Let's just do it all. All right, we got a queen bee right there. And I think when I make the beehive, does it have to be on our base or... I'm going to kind of make it out here. I know it's a little dark. But yeah, let's make it out here. Okay, so it could be either on the base or on the ground. Um, I'll just put it right here. Now, I'm assuming I can't go near it. Check bees. The bees are sleeping. Okay, good. Sleeping bees are happy bees. All right, now for the real thing we were supposed to be doing today. Uh, the tanning rack. We're going to need deer hide and flint. Okay, my workbench is now level three. Okay, beautiful. What does that mean? I didn't see any... Oh, here we go. A stag breaker? A weapon worthy of the... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, deer head trophies. Okay, beautiful. Uh, I'm not seeing anything else new in here. 
Well, I was just outside fighting some guys. It was pretty fun. All right, so here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. Um, I don't have a single item that requires a level three workbench. Okay, you can see right here the stag breaker, which I do want to make next episode. I'm gonna I'm gonna craft a good amount of stuff next episode. Probably go on a a bit of a exploration hunting spree. It should be pretty fun. But yeah, I got I'm gonna make the uh, stag breaker and probably some leather stuff. But if you look right here, see that too? That means that it's it needs a level two workbench. And I went through all this stuff, and none of this stuff needs a level three workbench. So I just got to find new recipes, and that will be awesome. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you haven't been enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Mm -hmm.